Bridges in Mathematics is a comprehensive math curriculum for students in pre-kindergarten through fifth grade. Bridges is recognized for its focus, coherence, and rigor by the independent evaluating organization, EdReports. In a Bridges classroom, students learn that math makes sense. Classrooms are filled with the voices of children talking about math. Students engage in hands-on learning using tools like dominoes, dice, spinners, and cubes to solve problems. They complete activities and play games collaboratively to help them make sense of important mathematical ideas. That's all by design, with the teacher leading the students to engage with the mathematics and with one another. The discussions where you'll hear phrases like, why do you think that happens? Do you notice any patterns? Or tell me about your thinking. Enable students to explore concepts, learn from one another, and develop the habit of explaining their thinking. Bridges helps to create an environment where students feel safe to share their ideas, discuss math freely, and interact with one another. The hands-on materials provided with the curriculum, such as number racks and number pieces, support an approach to math that may look different from the way you were taught. Students are encouraged to wrestle with ideas and make sense of math, creating visual models which are proven to help students understand mathematical concepts at a deeper level. Let's look at an example from the Bridges curriculum. How would you solve this problem? 34 plus 17. Many of us learn to solve this problem by stacking the numbers on top of one another, adding and carrying a one. But did you understand why you were doing that? Could you explain why the one is carried and what it means mathematically? At the Math Learning Center, we believe teaching procedures before serious time is spent exploring the underlying principles of mathematics leaves many children behind. By experimenting with how numbers work, students develop multiple strategies to approach new problems. Take a look at some of the strategies generated by students in a grade three Bridges classroom. What do you notice? Students in Bridges classrooms learn to approach problems flexibly using a variety of strategies and visual models. They explore mathematics in ways that build understanding instead of memorizing and mimicking procedures. The result? Students with a deep understanding of mathematics who are confident and effective math thinkers. When asked to describe how teaching Bridges impacts their students, here's what a few teachers had to say. My second year of teaching, we started using Bridges in Mathematics, and I cannot overstate how many times I would be prepping for a lesson and think, oh my gosh, I wish I would have learned it this way. We began to look at math from the idea of a more conceptual approach. Previous programs did not attack math in the same way. There are a lot of, here's an algorithm, this is the way you solve for this, you always solve it this way, versus truly understanding the concept. In my Bridges classroom, I see students working together a lot, not being afraid to go out on a limb and to solve problems and to try to figure their way through things. Even when they're working in their Bridges workbooks, it still gives time where they're engaging with one another and checking each other's work. By drawing pictures, by solving things, by arrays, they're using cubes and tin frames and they're using their number racks and they're getting on the floor and solving a problem with their friend and talking about it. Bridges just creates that environment where they're not afraid to be wrong and they're not afraid to help a friend if they are wrong because they know if I am wrong that someone's going to help me and tell me why and I'm going to learn more from that. They have the opportunity to raise their hand and tell, you know, oh, well, I thought this and then their friend says, well, no, I thought this. They don't have the least bit of problem explaining their answer or picking the best answer. They want to know why. I am able to work with my students 
on a personal level. When they are able to go to their tables or in their workplaces or using their workbooks, I can go around and specifically pinpoint the students who need more support. One of the things that happens with math is people give you one way to do it. So when you run into those barriers and all you've ever taught a child is an algorithm, then the child struggles and the child cannot proceed because they don't know it. But when you teach it from a conceptual level, it's amazing the things that they can figure out. If you give them the tools and the resources they need, they can really just blow your mind. It's not just about learning rote facts, but it's about the communication skills, the critical thinking skills, all of these that we previously called 21st century skills, but these skills that these students are gonna need to thrive in the world that they're gonna be a part of, I think that Bridges really fosters that. They're no longer being told how to do something, they're discovering how to do something. And that's incredibly empowering to them. The changes that I see for all of our students is the amount of risk taking. Recognizing that there's more than one answer to a problem, there's more than one strategy, and the kids celebrate each other's mathematical thinking. And to give kids multiple ways of solving problems, to promote that critical thinking, deepen that conceptual understanding, using visual models as opposed to jumping right to the algorithm. The growth that I've seen in the students is this ability to think. It's really noticeable that these students are able to think conceptually, they're able to think abstractly. If you present a question, there's not just one way. When it comes to solving in more than one way, that's, that's a life skill. The way Number Corner plays a role in my classroom is I feel it's a really big vocabulary builder. With the 10 frame, I love how students are able to count more efficiently. Playing the, the workplace games or come sit on the floor so we can do a problem string. I like the conversations that occur between the kids, between the students. There's a true visual aspect to Bridges. When we introduce a workplace, students are really excited because they know that they're gonna to get to play this game. We're preparing kids to apply these bits of information to new situations instead of asking them to memorize the dictionary of math. And that really allows them to be creative with their math and apply it to situations we can't even think of yet. It's so cool. Families often wonder, how will I know what my child is learning at school? And how can I help them at home? First, we suggest you keep the conversations about mathematics going. In a Bridges in Mathematics classroom, you'll often hear the teacher say, what do you notice? And what do you wonder? These questions draw out a student's observations on things like quantities, patterns, and predictions about what may come next. And the great thing is, there are loads of opportunities for you to engage your student in these questions on everything from football games on TV to the number of rows of bricks in an apartment building. The Math Learning Center also provides unit overviews on the Bridges Family Support page of our website. There, you can learn more about the specific mathematical concepts and skills your student is focused on in the classroom, which can help shape your conversations with your young mathematician. You may see your children bringing home games and activities called home connections. Home connections are tasks designed for reinforcing the math that students are doing in school. If you'd like to learn more about the visual models used in Bridges in Mathematics, our free math apps are available on our website without registration or login. We encourage you to explore them. And if you'd like a sense of how they're used in the curriculum, try some of the app activities. And finally, the Math at Home section of our website has wonderful games and activities that spark curiosity and conversations for the whole family. Many families are very surprised at their students' mathematical vocabulary. They may even teach you something new. We truly appreciate the time that you and the Minneapolis public school community have put into learning more about the Bridges in Mathematics curriculum. We hope the information and resources we've shared have been helpful. If you're interested in learning more, please visit our website at mathlearningcenter.org.